Hello everyone, my name is Hitesh and I welcome you all to TradeBrain's YouTube channel. So if you are new to this channel, please comment, like and subscribe to our videos and please don't forget to press the bell notification icon. So as and when we publish our videos, you get notification for that straight onto your device. Now through this chapter, I'll be talking about one of the most happening topics in the equity market. And we have been getting constant query from our viewers to make a video on this concept. I'm talking about the concept of SGX Nifty. If you'll open any news channel before the opening of the equity market in India, you always hear this terminology SGX Nifty in every second or third sentence. We get to hear that SGX Nifty is trading in green or SGX Nifty is trading in red. So now we have to understand first what SGX Nifty is and we have to understand what is the impact of SGX Nifty and why do people talk about it so much. So let us begin and jump into our discussion. Now through this video, I'll be talking about what is SGX, that is what does SGX stand for? What is XGX Nifty and its importance? As in, why is it so important for us? The difference between Nifty and the XGX Nifty. The trading hours and the contract settlement of XGX Nifty. And in the end, basically have an understanding on how does XGX Nifty impact the Indian, Indian equity market. So the first topic we'll be talking about is what is XGX? XGX is basically an acronym for Singapore Exchange. It is one of the biggest exchanges of Asia and it is one of the fastest growing exchanges in the world. So Singapore exchange was established in the year 1999 and in the year 2007 it acquired 5% stake in Bombay Stock Exchange and 4.99% stake on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. And in 2008 the SGX Nifty made a big leap and it acquired 95% stake in the Singapore Commodity Exchange and which is right now a 100% subsidiary of SGX. And in 2016, SGX continued its spree of acquisition and it acquired the Baltic Stock Exchange, which is headquartered in London. And a couple of days back, SGX reported it's one of the highest net profit. That is, it made a profit of Singapore dollar 472 million. So we see a constant acquisition, we see a constant growth in the volume and in the profit made by Singapore Exchange. Now the next important topic which we'll be covering here is what is SGX Nifty. We have understood what SGX is, that is the Singapore Exchange, but we have to understand what is SGX Nifty. Now SGX Nifty is the Indian Nifty trading on Singapore Exchange. Now what we understand is this, Nifty is the composition of top 50 companies which is trading on the Indian stock market. That is what Nifty 50 is. And SGX Nifty is the Indian Nifty which is the Nifty 50 trading on the Singapore Exchange. So in simple terms, SGX Nifty can be said as the future contracts of Indian Nifty trading on the Singapore Exchange. And it is one of the most actively traded contract on Singapore Exchange. It has got a lot of volume and a lot of, lot of liquidity on the Singapore Exchange. And now the next point of consideration is who can trade the SGX Nifty. When any investor or trader who is willing to trade the Indian equity market but is not able to do so because of logistical reasons is allowed to trade on SGX Nifty. And if you are, if you look at all the big hedge funds, all the all the FIs who have exposure, who have exposure on the Indian equity market, can hedge their position by taking counter positions in the SGX Nifty market. Now, one important uh, note to consider here is this: an Indian is not allowed. That is, a, a person of Indian origin who has got a citizenship of India is not allowed to trade on SGX Nifty. For that matter, Indian an Indian citizen is not allowed to trade in derivatives of any other exchange in the world. So what is the difference between a Nifty and an SGX Nifty? Now the first is the exchange traded. The Nifty is traded on the Indian Stock Exchange that is the National Stock Exchange and the SGX Nifty is traded on the Singapore Stock Exchange. The contract size. Now this is one of the most important point to understand here. So in Nifty each lot contract has about 75 shares. Now if you look at the Nifty futures. The number of outstanding that is and that is the open interest is always a multiple of 75. But in case of SGX Nifty, there is no system of lot. So in simple terms, SGX Nifty is denominated in terms of US dollars. Say if the Nifty is trading right now at 11,000, then the contract size of SGX Nifty will be simply 11,000 into 2, which is $22,000. So supposedly if the, if the Nifty goes up to say 11,200, then the contract size will be 11,200 into 2, which is $22,400. So for every one point move in the value of Nifty, the SGX Nifty has a change in the value by $2. And the third point of difference is the open interest. Now the in case of Nifty, the open interest is the number of shares outstanding. But in case of SGX Nifty, the open interest is simply the number of contracts which are outstanding. Now before moving on, 
Uh, if you are someone who's willing to learn investing, if you're someone who's willing to understand the mutual funds, or if you're someone who's willing to understand the financial market ratio analysis, or if you are someone who has an interest in learning the derivatives market, that is the option trading, the technical factors, the technical analysis, TradeBrains Academy provides education on each and every topic of the financial market. You can go to our website and have a look at it. I'll be mentioning the link in the description of each and every course. You can have a look at the preview of the courses and make an informed judgment based on that. Now continuing our discussion, so what are the trading hours of HGX Nifty? Now we all know the trading hours of Indian equity market. It starts at 9.15 a.m. and it closes at 3.30 p.m. and it trades for 5 days a week. But in case of HGX Nifty, the trading hours are very different from the Indian equity market. It trades in basically two tranches, that is the morning session is denominated by T and the evening session is denoted by T plus 1. And the data which I am mentioning here is the data which has been taken from the website of Singapore, Ex Singapore Exchange. Now if you look at on the left hand side of the screen, you see T and if you look at the, the, the one below is T plus 1. So in each and every session have their own closing price, opening price and the traded range. And as I've already mentioned, HGS Nifty trades in two tranches, that is the daytime is the T tranche and the evening time is the T plus 1 tranche. Now these are the simple trading hours, that is the daytime or the T session trades at about 9 a.m. to 6, 6, 10 p.m. and the evening session trades about 6, 6.40 p.m. to 5.15 a.m. So there's a half an hour of break between the T session and T plus 1 session. Now we all know that there's a time gap of 2 hours and 30 minutes between the Indian market and the Singapore exchange. So if I were to give you the example, the opening hour of T session is 9 a.m. to 6, 6, 6, 10 p.m. And if, you had, if, and if you were to deduct 2 hours 30 minutes, then the Singapore exchange that is the SGX Nifty trades from 6.30 a.m. to 3.40 p.m. And the evening session starts trading from 4.10 p.m. and it trades till 2.40 p.m. in the market. Now what is the impact of SGX Nifty on the market? First being at the global scenario. Now if you look at the current global scenario, we have the current important factor to consideration here is the pandemic COVID-19. The second factor under consideration is the India and the China business ties, that the other factor being the US-China trade tensions. All these factors have a major impact on the market. So if you look at the trading hours of the Nifty, that is the HGX Nifty, which is comparatively much longer than the Nifty timing. So which is where we have a longer hour to trade in the HGX Nifty. And the traders in the global market have a better see or a better longer trading hour than, than the Indian traders in the Nifty market. The second point of course with the long trading hours. The Indian market trades for about 6 hours 15 minutes. But if you look at the trading hours, SGX Nifty it trades for nearly 13 to 14 hours a day. Which is where you have more hour or more time to express the views in the market and trade in the longer market. SGX Nifty is a very important factor which is used by analysts in presenting the analyst report. Now we must all be seeing that the uh, analysts predict the market in the market. There is no magic trick to it. They simply look at the value of SGX Nifty and if it's trading above the closing price of Nifty, Indian Nifty on the previous day, we can have a conclusion that the market is likely to open in green. And if it's trading below the closing price of the Indian equity at 3.30 pm yesterday, we can have a fair judgment saying that the Indian Nifty is going to open weak. I thank you for your patient hearing. I'll see you in the videos to follow. And if you have any comments on it, please put your comments on the comment section. We'll be very glad and happy to answer, answer all your queries there. Thank you so much.